Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the WP Subscribe Pro plugin, a plugin designed to turn your visitors and retain them and turn them into paying customers. First thing to do is to head over to the member area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. And from there, you want to select your active premium resources and just scroll down to the bottom where you'll find your plugins located and find WP Subscribe Pro. And you want to click download plugin files. And then you want to save that onto your computer. So I'm just saving that onto my desktop. Then you want to head to your WordPress dashboard once that's finished downloading and go to plugins and then add new and then upload plugin and then choose the zipped file you just downloaded. So I'm going to select WP subscribe pro and click open there. And I want to click install now. That's going to upload and install the plugin after which we want to click activate and the plugin is now activated. So first we want to head to the settings under settings and then click WP subscribe pro. Here you'll find all of the settings site-wide for the plugin. And the first thing to do is to click enable pop-up. This is going to enable the main WP subscribe pro pop-up to capture your subscribers on your site. And here you can see you can immediately help to show uh, a subscribe form, related posts, and you'll see that changes there, or custom HTML. We're going to show a subscribe form, and you see we can set a width. 600 pixels is good for most screen sizes, and we can choose an animation. Fading in and fading out is absolutely fine for me. Also choose a color. Um, I might set this to a nice default red. And you can also set the opacity. So I'm just going to set that to 0.8. As you click preview pop up, you're going to see the immediately what that looks like. So you can see we have the uh, newsletter subscribe form, the red background, 0.8% opacity. Um, perhaps might that make that a little bit stronger. And we can see the effect of that immediately there. If you click to the next tab, you can set the pop up content. Here, the first thing to do is to see the four different uh, subscription services you have to offer. So FeedBurner, MailChimp, GetResponse, or Aweber. Those three at the bottom there being the leading industry email marketing platforms, and Google's FeedBurner being an excellent automated free RSS to email service. So the first thing I'm going to do here is show you how to set up WP Subscribe Pro using FeedBurner. And to do this, you need to find your FeedBurner ID. Um, so log into FeedBurner at feedburner.google.com and then click on Publicize. And then click on Email Subscriptions and activate that if you haven't already. And if you now scroll down here and see the in this URL here, you want to click where it says URI equals and then copy that. That is your FeedBurner ID. So you can now go back to the plugin settings and just paste that in. And you can then change the text, um, the title, and as well as the email placeholder, button text, success message, and error message, and footer text. Also change from a set of predefined colors. So if we perhaps wanted to make this, uh, this grayscale, but as well as these predefined color sets, you can also change those individually with each of these options here. And again, you can preview the pop-up, um, except now if you fill in an email address there and click sign up now, that's going to send you to my FeedBurner account. I'll just quickly show you through the next tab, the pop-up triggers. Um, you can choose which uh, pages to show this on. So front page, single post pages and other post types, archives, search results, and 404 not found as well as when a visitor enters, and you can choose a time delay, um, when a visitor reaches the end of a content, and when the visitor's about to leave, so when they move their mouse out of your site. That's known as exit intent. You can also set um, the pop-up to only appear once for each visitor until a cookie expires after, say, 14 days, for example, and you can also reset those triggers, and you can just tick or untick those to set the options as you want them. Going on to single posts, you can also add a subscribe form. 
and you can have that before or after your post content or using a short code. We'll just leave that to after and you can just click that button to copy the form settings from your pop-up. And again, you have exactly the same settings. Um, so you can load a predefined color set, perhaps use the alternative one there. And you can also use this short code to display the subscribe form on your posts and pages. So let's just save that to see what that looks like. If we now just load up our site, then we're gonna see um, if we move our mouse away from the middle of the page, to, so we were leaving the site, you'll see that the subscribe box automatically pops up. And if we enter that email address, that's going to take us to FeedBurner. And you can see that um, that's working because without an email address, that's bringing up FeedBurner's own error code there. Also, if we head to a post and just scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see we have the subscribe form that we just set up there. And that that again is also working how it should, as we can see from the FeedBurner error code there. So I just wanna show you how to set it up with an alternative uh, mailing service, for example, MailChimp. And to use MailChimp, I'm going to need an API key and a list ID. Now details on how to find these, um, you can find by clicking on this link here. Um, but to generate an API key, you're going to need to go into your account on MailChimp and then extras and then API keys. And you want to create an API key. And then you just want to copy that there and paste it in to the option there for your MailChimp API key. And you want to click find your ID for details on how to find your ID. And we can see for this one, we need to go to lists and then go to settings. And if we scroll down, then um, we can copy that unique list ID. And again, just pop that into the field there. You can also um, opt to include an name field and a double opt-in notification which is required in some countries which is a feature that MailChimp offers and you can see that just adds um, for the name field an extra field there. You've got the same options as before and just click save changes on those and now you're going to find that your pop-up content will shoot you to the MailChimp. For get response um, you've got the same two links here, you need an API key and a campaign name, and you've got those two links, which will show you how to find those. And for Aweber, you just need your list ID, and there's a link to tell you how to find that. Now, I just want to show you quickly the other pop-ups you've got available. Um, you can show related posts um, by checking this radio box from subscribe form to related posts, and then heading to the pop-up content tab, and you can see, uh, we can set it to say before you go, you may be interested in these posts. And again, set different colors. And you can show uh, post categories or post excerpts. And that is the example. So we can perhaps change the background color there um, to a, a blue, perhaps to suit our site better. And you can see, um, we can also show post categories in the meta and that displays there. You also have the option to show custom HTML or shortcode. And again, you can just uh, head to the pop-up content field and then you can see how that looks. So that's just some text with some padding. So perhaps if you had your own subscribe form you wanted to use there or any other custom code, and you can do that there. One final feature to show you, um, included in WP Subscribe Pro is the ability to change colors on the widget. So if we head over to appearance and then widgets, then if we scroll down, we can choose the WP Subscribe Pro widget, um, which I've already got inserted into my homepage widget area. And we can see we have the same services as before and the uh, same IDs required. So I'm just going to leave that blank for the minute. Um, you can, of course, set up how you want. And you can change the labels as before, but also the colors. And you've got these two predefined color sets as well as the option to set them individually to match your theme. And just, just click Save on that. And if I now just head to my site, then you'll see I have email subscription blocks with the colors I selected just now. 
WP Subscribe Pro is a really powerful plugin which you can use to power up your site. You've got those options which set the global options. You've got the options for individual posts. And you've also got the shortcode and widget for displaying the pop-up and sign-up box throughout your site. Any queries, then head to community.mythemeshop.com and one of our support team will be more than happy to help you. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.